Hello all, let's perform a quick Fedora 34 upgrade. So I'm using my existing Fedora 33 to perform the upgrade. So I just do a sudo DNF uh, system upgrade and I just change the release server from 33 to 34 and I'm going to update it via GNOME software. It was around 1.7 gigabytes of download and uh, the update process was longer than usual. Fingers crossed the system will boot. So the installation have been completed. This is like a lock screen or login screen of Fedora 34. So by default it's going to have like a, this one is an experimental release. So if you go to the settings and uh, if you view, view the version of this Fedora installation you are going to see like this is Fedora 34 workstation edition pre-release you are having GNOME version 40 beta and your display system is uh, Wayland if you open up your terminal and uh, like look for the kernel version you can see by default uh, just let me increase the size by a little bit so that will be convenient for you to see if I type you name dash R. you can see that by default this pre-release edition is going to come with the kernel version linux kernel version 5.11.3 so by default it's not like uh, this one doesn't look like this so i have uh, done a little bit customization like i have changed the so by default it's going to look something like this So if you open up your file manager and all, like you are going to have, uh, if you like this, it's was like uh, not attracted to this color scheme. So I installed the theme and I used the GNOME tweaks package like uh, to customize the themes I have installed. So I like ArcDark and I use uh, Apparatus Icons theme. Can customize your font if you want to like uh, you have that option over here but I'm not I'm not such a big fan of that but this is that so the next thing is like uh, right now system D they have enabled the system D o OMD by default so OMD is like uh, the out of memory daemon of system D so you can see the memory usage over here is significantly lighter than my Fedora 33 edition. Like if you remember from one of my past videos, it's like if I open up for example, let me see, let me show you where it is located. So this thing like system D OMD is like uh, it's kind of like a compression mechanism. So it's you can see that from uh, you can see the configuration under cat etc slash systemd systemd slash oomd.conf ok so inside here you can see like uh, it's going to tell you about the configuration changes like if you want you can enable this swap use limit 90% default memory pressure limit compression you can do that so duration seconds all these things you can change if you want to but uh, i'm going to leave this to a default i don't want to like mess up my system too much it's already messed up i have done like some customizations and uh, i need to roll it back from all those things to make this virtual machine usable again and the next thing is like if you look closely they have uh, switched away from uh, pulse audio daemon to they are using something new not something new but they are using uh, pipe wire pulse daemon so instead of pulse audio and jack they are using they are using uh, I haven't installed I'll say you tell some sorry 
they're using um, pipewire daemon so if you go to cap slash hc slash pipewire and pipewire dash pulse yeah you can see this is like uh, audio conversion lib sp audio convert so they're using like this instead of uh, pulse audio daemon they're using pipewire daemon so Piper Demon is uh, considerably like better performance in better better in performance and uh, audio management comparing to Pulse Audio. So they have switched from Pulse Audio Demon to Piper Demon. So you still have like uh, Pulse Audio package, but you still need Pulse Audio package. But the Demon has been replaced by Pulse uh, Piper Demon and. Uh, the next thing they have done changes are like uh, they have enabled the CSTD comparison. So if you type F dash H, you can see like uh, you will be having like if you compare your old 33 install with the 34 install, you are going to see like significantly different amount of storage space used. Like uh, they have enabled the uh, CSTD comparison in this release so fedora 33 was having like uh, but refs file system enabled by default but uh, in this one they have also enabled the cstd compression so cstd compression enables faster read and write speeds and uh, it's saving like some amount of space and the um, rest of the changes comes in like the tool change package and the tool change changes you're having like bin utilities version 2.3 you have gcc 11 yeah like ruby on rails 6.1 something like that so if you want to try this release i will link uh, like uh, i will leave uh, in the video description how you can download and try this one that's it i hope you all have a wonderful day and one more thing I forgot to mention like by default you are having like uh, some more new wallpapers inside this one so you only can try them here you have this you have lighter one you have a darker one and like in the final release I, I think they will have like some more wallpapers and everything so 